So measuring uh, space is very important in pub battles. I started out with uh, some terrible homemade sticks. Those are just some scrap pieces of cardboard I glued together, wrapped in a little bit of paper and, measure and uh, put the markings on them. And they were fine, but they just, I got tired of looking at them. So then I went ahead and built my own little sticks. The sticks cost $27 from the publisher, so I figured anything I could do to come in under that would be fine. And what I did was I bought a, um, a dowel rod, just a plain poplar dowel rod. This is a quarter inch by 36 inches long. And I just cut it to size, mounted in foot. I had some spray paint, so I didn't have to spring for that. It was about a dollar and a half, not quite two dollars, for the uh, dowel rod, then the spray paint. If you had to buy the spray paint, that probably puts you right around ten dollars, I think. But I just, you know, painted it, I think, yellow, and then I taped it off and painted the ends blue. For some reason, I decided to put the labels on them. I don't think you need that. But there, that's a perfectly decent measuring stick. But sticks have a bit of a challenge in terms of using them on the board. There's been some good suggestions to try to use these chains, and these are pole chains for uh, light fixtures. Um, these were actually more expensive than I expected. I spent about seven dollars to, to get two different colors, the gold and the, it's kind of a bluish color there. That was a little more than I expected just to get two chains. Of course you need the clasp here to hold the pieces together and that means if I wanted to make a second set of chains I'd have to go spend another seven dollars so that was kind of a drag. Well I suppose unless I can find these clasps somewhere. But they do complement each other pretty well. There are certainly things that these sticks do that are a little harder to do with the chains, things the chains do that are better than the sticks. So where does a stick sort of shine? Well this is a typical uh, opening setup here at Marengo. I have the um, Austrian artillery on the other side of the river. And you think, well are they in range of the French here? Well, the stick does that really nicely. You, know, you can just measure, figure out the distances. It's a little bit more clumsy with the chains, but you can do it. Just that, you know, my, the ends are obscured by my fingers, so in tight quarters I might not have the exact measurement. Another thing I think sticks do a little bit better is retreats. If you have a congested area, you have to retreat. You know, it can be a little difficult to figure out, especially if there's things in the way with the chain, exactly the distance. Whereas with the stick, you know, I can lay it out, eyeball it with my clumsy fingers out of the way, figure out that, you know, he needed to retreat to here. So I like the sticks for that. Where the sticks are terrible is in the road column movement. If I look at a road up here, north of the river, if I had a piece in road column that I wanted to move, say I wanted to come along this twisting road, well, the stick is really clumsy to try to figure out, okay, that portion of a move, and then this portion of a move, and oh, darn, I hit that, and so on. This is where the chain shines. I can just lay that chain out right along that road. It takes me a few moments. There I know that's one stick of movement done. Or it used to take me, you know, a few moments longer than I really liked. Plus with the stick I was always banging it into things as I tried to maneuver it around that those curves. So I think the chains are really good for that. They're not um, completely inappropriate everywhere else, but I was more than happy to spring for, I guess it was just about 10 American dollars to build both uh, sticks and chains.